So you can see what kind of day this is. I'm sitting here talking for five minutes muted and really getting into the nitty gritty of my life. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign I just shouldn't say anything. I just, I don't know, man. I was just talking about this Ethereum. I'm mining Ethereum here. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to shut it down because I don't think I'm going to stream. Um, I don't think I'm going to stream today. Usually whenever I feel like this, I don't stream. And I guess I could just repeat what I said for the past five minutes. I mean... I honestly, I've been finding, I've been, I've been looking for a place to put stuff. So I need to figure out a way where I can package this, this a kind of off stream out of, out of the currently like elude stalwart play series. Like I need a, maybe a separate series. I'm thinking about doing like a, I don't know. Like, I don't even know what to call it. Cause I don't want it to be a vlog, like a video diary type thing, but I need something like a podcast. I need some place to put information that I, that I just like, I'll, it's, it's bad because I get to a point in conversations where I just start talking about the same subject and there's just so much to do with this subject. It's like, and it's never just the one subject. It's like five or it's like three to five different things that I'm, I'm thinking about or or working on like this Ethereum thing or like the stream or like, I I'm also looking into things like uh, video editing and the broadcaster software ways to improve that. And like, I got the green screen here and trying to get the lighting shit proper. This takes a little bit to mess with. Cause if the lighting's not right, it can look weird. And like, I can go blind. I can start seeing dots and shit. I don't want to see dots. So we just going to be dim for a little bit until I get better lighting and stuff. Yeah. I mean, I guess the crux of it, I guess I could to sum up what I was talking about that for that five minutes is, uh, I, I usually don't stream on days where I'm kind of like in a weird mood with the wife and kids because like we, we just like anybody else, we have problems sometimes like, uh, this, this today was, uh, my son, he doesn't like to go to school all the time. Like he likes to take, he likes to take his days off. And it's weird too, because like last year during the, the coronavirus and all that, when that shit was coming out, uh, they had the homeschooling option. So he could just do this classes online and he did okay with that. I helped him and uh, he got his classwork done and. I started trying to help him less and less. And then he got to a point to where he was just doing it on his own, but the teachers were still learning the software. It's like the, the school software to submit assignments and, uh, to, to like assign assignments and all that stuff. It seemed like there was some miscommunication for a couple classes, a couple teachers. So, uh, he, he didn't like the headache of that. So he just wanted to go to school. So there wasn't any like problem with missing assignments or teachers not assigning properly or him forgetting the assignment or not checking prop. So he went to the school and he did really good the, for the last school year, and, but he would still take days off. He'd still have days where he, it's like the, the night before he wants to stay up all night or something. And I don't even think it's that cause he doesn't stay up all night all the time. Well, maybe he does. Maybe I just don't know. I know I stayed up a lot when I was a kid. My parents probably didn't know or care. So yeah, I don't know. Like I don't ever pressure him to go to school. I don't, I don't want him to, to feel like he has to, even though he does. I mean, like we get the letter in the mail that says we're going to go to court if he doesn't go to school. I don't know if I should homeschool him though. Like, I don't know if like, I don't even know what homeschooling entails. Like I, I, I thought I had a taste of it that last year, whenever we had the coronavirus and, uh, had to do lockdown and I was sitting there helping him with his classes on life. Felt, that felt like homeschool. It felt like helping him with his homework, except it was all day. And it was, uh, 
kind of like more like re realigning his focus to the task as well you almost need just somebody to remind you oh hey like you got deadlines and shit like you know this assignment's gonna be due soon like you might want to get this done but i don't know like i don't know if it's the social aspect or the teachers or even the faculty or staff or it seems like his bus drivers kind of kind of a uh, inexperienced or new or or something because like he said that she's assigned five people to the seat that he was sitting in so he's like every day he has to deal with the stress of some new person that's assigned to his seat and then figuring out where he has to sit and then she he asks the bus driver and she gets mad and says y'all need to remember what seat you're assigned and he's like well five people are assigned to my seat <laughs> so what do i do so it's like damn that sucks it's like can't you just move and i guess with the buses it's like there's like 40 something kids on that bus and they're not maximum they're not at capacity it's like enough to where if if people sit two in a seat then there can be a bunch of people that just have one in a seat if they spread out and that's kind of the case is like people have to choose who they want to sit next to and it's just awkward i guess which is why I guess they have assigned seating, but if everybody's assigned to the same seats, then that's a problem. But yeah, it's an in inexperienced bus driver, I think, still just trying to learn that stuff. And that's not going to be a permanent problem. That's not anything to worry about, I don't think. And I told him if, if that is a problem, I could just fucking, I could drive him. I'd take him to school and pick him up. It's during my productive hours though. Like I try to get shit done during my productive hours. And the first few hours in the morning, those are my sacred hours. And I wake up even earlier in the morning. I did that for a long time where I'd wake up three or four o'clock in the morning, just naturally. Like I wouldn't force myself or set an alarm or anything, but I could teach myself to start waking up at a different time. And I did that for a while and it felt like I had so much more of a day to get stuff done. And I felt like I was being really productive and stuff, but I was shutting down a lot earlier too. So I'd have to go to bed promptly at like eight or 9 PM. <laughs> and I was usually sucking gas. Like by the time like three o'clock rolled around, I was just brain dead. I just, my mind was goop. Cause, uh, I, I wake up and I just turn this on. I'm thinking about like ways to do this stuff and how I can do the stream. And I'm researching, like, I'm always researching things about the body and the mind and diet and nutrition and philosophy. And, and y'all have heard me talk about this, like theology and all kinds of stuff. Like I'm a spiritual person and I'm, I'm also very into my disciplines, but like, I don't know. I can't be rigid in anything. Uh, I also feel like I have to be flexible. And, and I also like, I, I switch gears too. like, y'all see me do it with games. Uh, I got guitar, I play guitar as well. I pick up that and don't do that for long periods of time. And I pick it up and do it for long periods of time. And what I find is with all these different things where my attention wanders and I pick up like a new skill or ability, every time I circle back around to that original one, there's like something new and it's better and, or, or improved in some way, or I've grown in that in somehow. So I try to do that with everything. I try to do that here with the stream. I try to do that. I'm, I'm currently doing it right now just by sharing information with you. Like I was probably even close to emotional at the beginning of this, but just kind of talking has helped. I think I'm glad I muted, I guess. <laughs> I pretty much gave you all the gist of what I said, but I'm, I'm sure I've overshared or something. Uh, but I don't want to hurt anybody that I know. And like, cause people know who I'm talking about if they know me. And so I don't ever talk about like people I know or anything or like relationships like that. But I, I have the same ups and downs in my relationships as anybody else. Like I have a wife and kids, but I, I'm, I'm sure I, it, it, it looks happily married when I'm playing video games all the time, but <laughs> it's very, not always. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always, it's always learning and growing. And I like to get to know people more personally like this. Like I'm sharing a lot of my personal, like, I feel like I'm being personal right now too. So like that, that's to the extent I'm working on this, I guess, if it doesn't sound like I'm sharing much, 
but uh like this is a lot for me this is i don't y'all have seen my history in videos like maybe you've caught me rambling or on a rant about the video games but i don't really talk about real life stuff because i feel like i don't know like everybody has their own real life stuff so we don't need to like you know m misery doesn't always have to share company <laughs> we could just kind of like switch gears and not talk about that stuff in some places but i feel like maybe i need to put this somewhere because there's a lot of stuff i think about and like i don't know i'm i i guess too like i kind of want to keep i, I want to keep the elude stalwart and stalwart vanguard stuff kind of specific and it's specific to gaming right now but we're people too like people are part of gaming so i think there needs to be a a stalwart aspect of the elude stalwart channel because like if you could think about it like eludes more like the black spirit that wants to play and the stalwart aspect is more like the stoic is like the one that's grounded in reality and getting things done on the back end or like maybe even more on the front end like i would like to maybe even share some of the stalwart aspects but i don't i like i don't feel like i'm an expert at anything i don't feel like i'm a, a preacher or a teacher or a mentor or a guru or anything like that but i think everybody has something to share and i think uh maybe i do too and uh the thing is is like i'm so critical because i I've, I've i've worked in a lot of jobs i've had a lot of jobs in my life anywhere in fast food the food service industry to like i did auto detailing which is like i didn't know was just washing cars i washed cars for a while <laughs> when i was like in middle school or something but like even before then i was pushing a lawnmower around my hometown trying to mow lawns for 20 dollars and uh i would go to the auto shop and it was my brother and i would we'd go everywhere asking if anybody needed any nuts and bolts sweeped it up swept up and we'd get like two or three dollars a job but these people would work us like slaves for that two or three dollars <laughs> he's like hey by golly you're gonna earn it that's what this guy would tell me by golly you're gonna earn it <laughs> it's like okay gonna earn this i guess he had us pulling weeds he gave us gloves they were like these oily mechanic gloves and shit we went out pulling weeds and I remember seeing these giant lead bricks. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he had us moving them. He showed us, he said we could move them, but we didn't have to, but they were, they were heavy. They were lead. So yeah, man. Um, so I have no aversion to working and, and stuff like that. And it's actually really hard for me to do this, this channel and stay at home parenting thing. Cause like I'm capable, like I can be out working, but I don't, this it gets deep and it's personal and there's so much that i could talk about like but i don't know like i think at this point this is where shut off the video if you like the, the gaming content <laughs> but i just don't i don't believe in it man i don't believe in that shit i fucking i watched my i watched my parents like their whole lives working and like my dad staying with a company and my stepdad just staying with the company and that has not got them i mean it I think it's also like I I don't I don't pretend to speak for them like I don't I don't want to speak for them but it's not where I want to be. I want to be I don't know like somewhere else. Not not greater or less than or or beyond or anything like that. I just my life's going to look different than that. And uh I think the conventional 9 to 5 is the easy way. And I think it's a lot harder to chase something that you actually care about because you kind of become you're you're allowing yourself to be more vulnerable to the world by sharing the the weakness that you have because what you care about is your weakness and it's like once somebody knows like and I realized this growing up like once once somebody knows your weakness they exploit it and they'll exploit it mercilessly and and it's like I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's, you know, for their own clout to get ahead or if like what, what higher purpose it may serve in their mind, but it's just, I don't know, unnecessary to leave yourself vulnerable. And for the longest, I've just not wanted to allow myself to be vulnerable. And, uh, I did that just by using my superpower of, of disconnecting 
and just disconnecting from everything and everybody like this is my whole life y'all see me wake up and do my stream every day like that's that's my whole life man like i care about my wife my kids and like what you see me doing with my channel and i want to take that somewhere i'm not going to let this go much longer though so if y'all if y'all want to keep on like sticking around and learning more about that stuff and if you have any questions about any of this like i love talking about stuff like that so um hit me up um 